Hello, hello. Are we live? Let me switch my screen. How are we doing? Happy Wednesday. Right. I am I am sorted. I am ready. I am on time. I am three minutes early. I do have something to drink, indeed. Um, I have... The last of the coffee is for Rubber Ducky that we need to try. You're not late, don't worry. I tend to um hit live on Twitch a little bit earlier to let the first uh ads kind of run in the beginning so I'm, no one's really missing anything when it's just sat on the starting screen start start starting soon screen first hello welcome in and thorby thank you so much for following on twitch appreciate it may hello silver frost hello we have been talking <laughs> how are you all doing uh, let me just dismiss that get rid of that there we go no split coffee this time built coffee <laughs> Spilt coffee, not split coffee. I was like, what split coffee? <laughs> Say Sage, hello. Right, let me try this. It's um it's a van the vanilla espresso. <gasps> Marshmallow Clouds, thank you so much for the Twitch subscription. Thank you so so much. I very much appreciate it. How are we doing in the save overall? Uh We're starting the first of spring. We're starting year two today. So that's really exciting. Um, I'm doing my best. I'm only just, I feel like in winter I only just started getting my head around how everything's working, so. <laughs> Salmon, hello! How are you? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so good to see you. I made you question your own typing tank. Oh, I'm so sorry. My brain's tired. I've been up a lot longer than I usually would be at this time of the day. Bye, Hammer. Hello. How you doing? Oh, let me try this coffee. I never actually took a sip. I've just been talking as usual. I mean, it's a good vanilla coffee. I left the vanilla last because, like, obviously all the other flavours were, like, different. Mostly. But vanilla is, like, reliable. Mostly. I mean, it, it, it meets my expectations. It's very, very good. I love a vanilla coffee. Potato Magic, thank you so much for the Twitch follow. And Sailor Plushie also, thank you so, so much. Wolfie, hello over on YouTube. And Bonkers Busy, hello. How are you? I am so ready today. Today is absolutely flown. We've had like a really long day. But somehow it kind of like got towards the end of the day and I'm like, ah, I need to get ready for stream again soon. Although I was actually early this time. Made sure everything was all working <laughs> for once <laughs> we aren't spending the first 40 minutes troubleshooting you were just thinking rapidex may pair well with ridge side since you get so much extra space in the mod true i feel like ridge side is already huge Rico, hello you're stressed so you have mackies I don't know why, but I thought the I'm stressed so I have Mackies. I thought the so I have Mackies was gonna be like a start to a story. <laughs> I don't know why. I got the right um category and stuff on. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, we're all good, we're all good. We're all good. There we go. You're work and remembered a memory from back in the day, then the stream notification came up. Oh my god! <laughs> it's so good to hear from you. I, what was I talking about? I was talking about something the other day from us, from our old, our old job. I can't remember what it was though. That's gonna bother me now. That's really gonna bother me. You love the extra year round giant farm from Ridgeside? Yeah, that's really good. Going through the story there takes some serious time. Yeah, it does. I didn't even know until a lot later that you get that. What'd you get from Mackie's Draco? I must know. Why don't we go straight over to um actually getting going? Because I've been excited about this. <laughs> I mean, what am I not, right? <gasps> Kent, hello. Can I just um can you just I'm I have plants. Can I kick you off the doorstep? Okay, goodbye. Thank you. Ah, the unskippable cutscene. It's only two lines, but I don't have that patience. Price of raw materials is now increased. No, go away. I disagree. I come to gaming to escape things like inflation. Um, I forgot to turn on animation cancelling. That's the one thing I forgot to do. Oopsie. There we go. We have both YouTube and Twitch. Do we have a preference for which one we watch? No, not at all. Um, the, so the reason I started adding YouTube as an option 
is because there are some people who like dramatically prefer Twitch or exclusively will only watch streams on Twitch, so I thought it might be nice to have it as an option for people who want it. Uh, so it's just kind of kind of there. I, I, don't, I don't mind at all. Whatever anyone's preference is, is good with me. We have the Allspice, so we have something else we can put into a bundle today. I'm going to have to go and check the community centre as to where we are with everything and what I still need. I don't remember. These bites, vanilla milkshake and sweet chilli wrap, also a Biscoff McFlurry. <gasps> Yum. I approve of all of those options. Do we have the extra bundles? bundles still? Yes, we do. I managed to fix that. It's all good. Oh, oh yeah, we're still doing the fish farmers bundle. Oh, I forgot about that. Adding Twitch is an option on not YouTube. Yes, May, you're right. I um, I misspoke. Fine artisan bundle. Um, bring seeds in chests. I need to use the. Ah, oh, right. Okay, I understand. I understand. I was like, why did I put that? What do I mean by that? I thought I meant by um, spring seeds, like forage type seeds. I didn't mean that. I meant fun raffidax crops. All of these things. So is that spring as well? Yes, spring. Is that winter? That's winter. So I think it's pretty much all of these. Is there anything else in here that is spring related? No. I'm just having it. Oh, that's the seed chest. Right, okay. Spring? Spring. Reminded me of a story. Is that also spring? Here it is. Apparently, it's used by those who study magic. Ooh, maybe I should have got more of them. Okay. Full of flowers. Single ancient seed. I think I'll save that for the greenhouse. Wait, why haven't I? Have I got the greenhouse? I'm so lost. Fancy new crops. Pantry. Animal bundle. That's why. Right. Um, in that case, I will grow the thing. The thingy thing. Oh, coffee beans also. Rice shoots I'll sort out later. What was I trying to say? Is this spring as well? Yes. Reading is hard for me today. Can't get my brain to focus. You could tell me Rapidax has your raiding bird nest for various eggs and I believe you, honestly. In your fishing merchant run you got the flower bundle and not the fish farmers. Oh no! Wait, isn't the fish farmers a fish tank bundle? Wait, oh no wait, hang on. Because obviously both things could be true, obviously. I thought you meant it was in the pantry. Rapidax makes you do everything you wouldn't think was a thing. Sounds about right. And that's what I love. That's what we all love, right? Sarah, hello! How you doing? How you doing? You put the seeds in two different chests. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. As we always say, thanks, brain. I can never find anything. Only in real life. Dig spots. Dig spots for roots. Eh? Have I missed a dig spot somewhere? Maybe I have probably have. This isn't in 1.6, right? No. Um, some people are working on essentially like making the updated version of it. However, I won't be able to do this in 1.6 because basically, from what I understand, it pretty much requires starting again. Dig spots have a chance of giving me roots. Roots? Like dandelion root or burdock root? Oh! Okay, I get you. Uh, sorry, I was just like... I couldn't... <laughs> I don't know how visible it was that you could see the, um, the wheels grinding to a halt in my brain. Okay, this is so... This particular sprinkler is going to be a bit of a mess. But we're going to live with it. This is going to be sort of like the, I feel like odds, odds and ends is the wrong word, but kind of that. And it will be going to be as shortly, but I want to prioritise this stuff first, obviously. There is a reason I haven't filled up that yet. Um. Oh, why haven't I put that in the chest? 
Right, dandelion seed, let's put you there. I like things in rows. Math Assassin, thank you so much for the follow on Twitch. Appreciate it. Brain EXE not found. I have used up all my available brain cells for the day. I don't seem to have any more. Unfortunately. Right, what am I going to do with these cucumbers? They're kind of awkward. Um... We put them in awkward places, that's what we do. Like this. I've kind of made a fence for myself though, that's minor irritating. Slightly annoying. Slightly annoying but we'll live with it. We're gonna have to. What have I done here? Um... Why did I get six of this flower? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's going to annoy me as well. I'm going to have to get four of something up here. Because this is a sprinkler worth of rhubarb. No! One idiot. Okay, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> I feel like I'm... Is anyone else this weird about planting crops? Is it just me? Please tell me it's not just me. I can't plant that now. <laughs> Quite simply can't. Content pack 2 is now so expensive that a ton of Rapidex is just defining things. One day I'm going to learn about modding things. Oh, actually, let's go drop this off. I'm going to bring all this stuff with me. Well, not all of it. Oh, I feel weird. Maybe I'm going to move my tool chest because I feel like it's in the wrong place for my brain to understand. Um, Rod. Axe. There we go. Let's go. May the Dark Lady, thank you so much for the Twitch follow also. Rip the satisfaction. I'm so upset with myself. As soon as I put the first row down, I'm still internally screaming. I've made a mess. I've made such a mess. I hate it. What's going on? Oh no, I didn't mean to skip that. That was Emily's, wasn't it? We're... Are we dating her in this one? Oh, <gasps> whoops. I didn't mean to skip that. That's my bad. Well, we've got the later ones. I think I've seen... If that's the one where the bird, you know, the parrot appears, then I'm okay with that. That does remind me, um, I think we're going to have a premiere tomorrow for my 1.6 playthrough on YouTube. So um, keep, keep an eye out for that. I'd like to put an iron bar on a mantle. I will accept it. I don't know if I'm going to do it. Do I want to cross off seeds in chests? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Be hello. Being a bad girlfriend is skipping. <laughs> I didn't mean to, I forgot. My brain's not working today. My brain isn't working at all. Right, what are we doing? Seeds, okay. Four parsnips. Bean starters, do I still need? How many backpack rows? So far we have four. Got the option for another, but it's really freaking expensive. <laughs> I can't afford it yet. Cauliflowers. I'm gonna buy quite a lot of those, but we need garlic. So we need 10 for the oil of garlic and then three other ways. So I'm gonna do 14. It's like half a sprinkler ish. Two jazz seeds. I only like to plant these on like the middle rows because I don't like doing too many flowers. Potatoes! We'll do a sprinkler. Got the beans, got the parsnips. Okay, so the rest I'm just gonna... Am I gonna regret this? Oh wait, hang on. Do you sell deluxe speed grow now? Yes. I know it's expensive here, but I'm just gonna speed up that single ancient fruit. Um... Hopefully that's enough. Got a run already, but it was nice being here. Have a great stream. Thorby, thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it very much. Have a good rest of your day. Lisa, hello! How you doing? Oh, go away, Evelyn. Here, have a daffodil. No, don't eat it. That looks very wonderful. Well, thankfully I didn't get out of bin. I really want to learn about modding one day. I feel like I need to at this point. Come to clean up all juicy bugs. Let's do this one. 
nice and easy. It does take a lot of work to make. Don't forget a garlic for Ginger Island. I'm not even close to going to Ginger Island at the moment. <laughs> and plus I'm growing some myself, so if I've got like too many, I can just slap one in a seed maker for later. Oliver, hello, how you doing? Good to see you. Let's do this. So, boop. And then let's get the speed grow down now. Don't want to fence that in completely. So I'll put these here. And then garlic. This makes sense in my head, but outside of that, it probably doesn't make sense at all. I still didn't donate the... Maybe we'll go back another time. Alright, where am I? got five of them, but I haven't got... What am I going to do? I don't want a random row of coffee beans. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. Row of kale. Row of potato. Another row of potato. Another row of potato. Save the rest. Then. Flowers. Oh no, I've got one left. Oh. This isn't going well. That's fine. And then the coffee beans will do the sprinkler. Then that's going to look awkward. I think we'll be alright if we... Actually, I know what we're going to do. This layout is definitely something. Correct. Correct, it is something. It is the most something... Something I've ever seen in my life. Like, why, why do I care this much? <laughs> Literally, why do I care this much? Also, I would like a speed boost. This is slightly on the slow side for me. Oh my god, Chewie, excuse me please, there we go. <laughs> This is going to be year of the coffee. I do love coffee. I love lots of coffee. I need to drink a bit more of my coffee here. Huge crop field is deeply satisfying. I feel like it's... I'm happy that it is now a large crop field. I'm unhappy with the unsatisfying sprinkler layout. Ew, I don't like walking up and down. I have to walk left and right. Hydration reminder, I'm probably going to just chug the rest of my coffee here. I did mean to nap today and then I just like didn't have time. Um, oh yeah, I was talking about seeds. So, um, also got some seeds in real life today for home. I, um, we went to a little, uh, garden centre today. And we grabbed some variations of chilli plant that we are going to grow that all should do okay on a window so on a on a sunny windowsill and um some lettuce that we can keep cutting from but i'm growing that from seed and also i think some coriander as well i am not of the soap coriander no so it's cilantro coriander slash cilantro i'm not of the soap gene type i like cilantro Nadine, you know, hello! You've just found the channel a few days ago. You've been binging the content pretty much since then. You love the voice and the loot goblin... <laughs> the loot gremlin energy slash chaos of the challenges. Why, well, thank you! Thank you for coming to say hi! I appreciate you being here! You love cilantro? Yeah, I love it. I, I, I can't talk! I have run out of, like, brain power for words. Okay, this field is even worse when it comes to satisfying, but, you know... We do need to like sort out pots. I can never find anything I really need, but what I did know is that we had some old pots that we can use that were like in one of our storage cupboards at the bottom of a very specific box. 
<laughs> Look at all this forage. Oh, that's not forage. I do love the loot goblin life. I do want to make another emote at some point. I think I've only got space for it over on Twitch at the moment, but eventually, hopefully, I'll find a way to either have it on YouTube or swap it. I'll have, um... I, I kind of want, like, a drawn version of the whole loot goblin thing. So I'll work on that at some point, but it might take some time. Even if there's one sprig, soap is all you can taste. Oh, that sucks. Iceland is trying to sleep. That will never not be funny to me. What about you, home bargain? <laughs> A lot of places use cilantro to garden their food. You always feel miserable. I'm not surprised. I mean, I used to really not like it, but I, I do now. I don't know. I mean, I never thought it tasted like soap. I just didn't like it. You look at a great place with food and it's covered in soap. Costa's trying to sleep, Harvester's trying to sleep, Nando's, and Giraffe. I forgot I had these, I won't lie. Anti-celery, you feel like celery is just water? I feel like celery has a very specific taste. Which I like, I like celery. But like I know that um, for Michael, celery is one of those like really overpowering, will ruin um, ruin the dish things. It's bitter to you? I feel like some celery is better than others, I will say. You have to have a good celery. I tend to find, um, lighter colour celery is better. If it's, like, too dark green, then it's not quite as nice. So, new machine ways, by the way, I, I remember now. Yes, I've got some fairies wishing here. You hate eating celery raw? Oh, I love celery and peanut butter. You're anti-dill, but you love pickles. I love pickles too. There's a very specific brand of pickles I like. I only just started liking pickles like in the past sort of year or two or so. And um, yeah, since then, I love them. But only one like, <laughs> it's fine when it comes most of the time from like places with who put them on burgers, but when it comes to jarred ones, I need a very specific one because I've like found one I like and I'm scared of all the others. <laughs> We're already talking about food 20 minutes in. Hey, Draco already came in with a McDonald's, so I was like, <laughs> always going to talk about food. Speaking of food, we went and had um, a little supermarket cafe brunch today and that was so good. Tesco cafe is the <laughs> Oh no, I'm going to need I'm going to need a coupe animal called Tesco and then a barn animal called Tesco Cafe. <laughs> but I had bake bacon maple loaded waffles and um, it was everything. Oh, I forgot to actually plant the... <sighs> you know, to be able to like grow the cauliflower, you have to put it in the ground. It might not do very well when it's still in the packet. I don't know if you knew this. A big Tesco? Oh yeah. Tesco and big Tesco. That's kind of funny. Have ever had homemade pickles? I haven't. I would like to do that at some point, I guess. Because like, then I can control how it tastes. Am I good there? I think... I think part of what it is is also the fact that like... Let's be honest. My brain is already like struggling a little bit at this at this point in the day but because we've um we were up quite a lot earlier than usual i therefore took my medication early and therefore it wears off earlier <laughs> so um You'd be mostly off chat, you can't really focus since laundry was exhausting. Honestly, understandable. I hope you have a good restful evening, May. It's a brain chug day? Yeah, it is. It is. It's because I've like spent a lot of like brain cells on good things today, on like a good just like going out and doing things kind of day. You still unmedicated, don't worry, I get you. Yeah. I, the thing is though, when it What was strange for me is that 
I can very much more notice the meds not being there anymore now that I've had them. Because before it was kind of like, okay, my brain is just like this, but now it's like, oh, I can function better. And then when I function less better, I notice. <laughs> Iceland is trying to sleep, just envision the entire country sleeping. <laughs> and you're there going, let me move you. Yeah, sorry, Ison. It's just, it's so funny that it's like, also a, obviously it's a country name as well. Fatigue mixed with ADHD must be rough. Your brain uses so much energy while overworking. Correct. <laughs> Do I have much else to add to that? No, no, correct. Um, I literally had like, what day was it? I had a meltdown yesterday because I was so overstimulated. <laughs> I'm laughing now, but it was, it was rough. But it's hard to not be overstimulated because, like, my brain doesn't like a lack of stimulation. And, um, I haven't found the happy medium yet. <laughs> We're working on it. One day we'll find the happy medium. Not this week, apparently. What was I doing? I was doing something. Oh yeah, I was getting my axe because the trees are kind of everywhere and also I need to bring that. I also need this because we're going to fish at the bathhouse. I don't know if we're going to do all of this today. Maybe we just do the bathhouse today? No. Trees today or bathhouse today? I don't know. Oh, I think that's the wrong tool. I do like the um fishing rod sail though. This will never not be funny. You need that perfect line between getting nothing done and s between nothing gets done and nothing gets done. Yeah. Well, today I I have like today's stream is the only like sort of work part of my day today. Um, right. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go and donate this because I'm carrying it around. I also need to go check every shop for all the things. Take a frozen tear as a gift. Good idea. Good idea. Am I even going to be able to speak to him until the evening? Probably not. So maybe I do the fish thing last, because then he's probably going to be there. So let's go ahead and grab this. And I think I can... I just want to stop these going back into the chests. I think they're locked now. <laughs> that was close. If that was my axe, I would have destroyed a cauliflower. Jesse, hello! First off, hi. Secondly, the videos really help you dealing with overstimulation when you're at work. Or when you come home. It's nice to just switch off your brain and start you. Oh, I love this. Thank you so much for coming to say hi and uh, all that as well. I do, honestly, yeah, having videos on for me also helps. I've been having, um, I kind of switch between like, I'll go and watch Netflix and kind of binge a series whilst working. Um, and it's either that or it's Dadu. I mean, YouTube watching stuff on YouTube depends on the day and how much YouTube I've watched and obviously for the past few weeks like there are some parts of Stardew 1.6 in terms of spoilers I've been trying to avoid um I'm probably gonna stop needing to do that soon you saw a TikTok of someone being diagnosed with autism and being like now what and being told to play Stardew <laughs> I mean hey works for me Words for me. Wait, have I even got a milk pail yet? I don't know. I need to go get a milk pail. Hey Lee, how you doing? Watching a live feels like doing something. It's like watching something new feels productive. Oh, I get that, because it's something in your brain that's new that's happening, right? Your streams are the perfect UK time for you, just after you've had a nap or when you need to chill out because your spoons are gone. That kind of like evening time of day where it's like, I don't want to go to bed yet. But I can't really do much. I'm really good. I had such a good day today. Michael and I had a very lovely day. Whoops. Sorry, Harvester. I need to get the milk, but I... <laughs> Please tell me. I, hope, I really do hope I've got a milk pail, but I want to handle these trees before they get in my way. 
Here we all sit, boonless. Very poetic. New videos are different? Yeah. I, re I feel like most of the time I rarely ever like go and watch the same thing a lot of times in general like whether that's netflix or youtube or anything um as in like the same video I watch obviously i watch the same channels and stuff a lot are you the only one who doesn't really like ginger island oh i love ginger island personally right i'm gonna dump all this stuff the old-fashioned way just because i don't want to Accident. <gasps> Perfume's ready. So I just need the bear berry now. Don't have a milk pail. I need to get a milk pail. Am I still carrying an egg? No. Hey yo. Goodbye. Even if you don't chat, you like the anticipation of anything can happen and no one knows anything more than anyone else. Even me. <laughs> that goes for me. I don't always know what's going to happen. Well, I think we all know this about, <laughs> about how my streams tend to go. <laughs> Put coconut in the perfume maker. I think I've done that. Have I not done that? Oh, no, wait. Is that what the coconut's there for? Oh, the bear berry for perfume. Okay, I confused myself with the reminder. I still need to get the bear berry, but I got put the coconut in here for the perfume. Thank you for the reminder. I appreciate that. See, I would have just forgotten for ages. The golden walnut stressed you out? Oh, I love them. That's one of my favourite things, like I watched I watched Wickedy's guide um, when I was struggling. Oh, oh well, I'll have to come and sort this another time. I've already left the farm now. Why am I going this way? I guess I'm going this way to go and speak to Sebastian, who I don't even think is out of his room yet. Let's go fish for the trash. You already have one farm to worry about? Oh, I love it, because it's like a giant permanent greenhouse. There's a lovely guide to getting like 80 of them in a single game day. Oh yeah, that's what I was saying. Um, So I watched Wickedy's guide on getting all of the walnuts. And all the ones that you can like easily dig up and stuff. Now I just like have my root. <laughs> That I go do. Like, don't get me wrong, I forget some now and again. But I, 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 I like going and doing a little route for myself. Wait, is Sebastian... I know that sometimes he comes out and goes into the kitchen, so I want to see if now's one of those times. I'm not at a stage of knowing his schedule. <gasps> there he is! Hello! Iron bar, this is for you. And, um... Oh, I don't want to sink. I will swim, thank you. I will take this. The Mickey's quest is just ridiculous. Agree. You used to hate them, but one day your brain memorized like 60% of the locations. Now you can get the house day one no sweat. Yeah, this is this is what happened to me. Same experience. I'm doing this so I can see where we're at trash wise. You are now full of Mackies, that is a good feeling. Oh, a train! I can probably catch one more piece of trash. I should have brought 20 trash to donate first. Train? 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 Nick? Ah. Oh. You're not looking forward to the Simon Says game? I feel like I get lucky with that now. I just kind of like do it until I get a good pattern. I think that's what I rely on. A lot of people tend to um, like record their screen even, like, even if it's just with your phone. You feel like a Snorlax? Snorlax is such a great Pokemon. Well, this is a rubbish train. I don't even need to do this. I do see the dig spot. Oh, hang on. Wow, rocks. Not like I can pick them up off the ground or anything. 
Oh my god, what, whatever would I have done if not for this train? Mr. Key is kind of scary. Look up anything mod has a look up for the order? Wait, which order? You're recording it? Wait, it has a, a look up for the order of the gems? You're recording your phone now, brute forcing it took too long. Honestly, understandable. It's just kind of frustrating, especially once you've done it like a few times. <laughs> That's why you skip trains. Yeah, they're just mostly not worth it. It tells you what order to touch the crystals. I'm gonna have to look at this when we get there. You're gonna have to remind me though, cause I'm gonna forget. But I need to see this. Like it's not something I generally like would want to use but I feel like that's another reason though that most of the time when I do the crystals and it's like in a video or like um in like a sort of like 100 day style video I tend to like time lapse it Whoops. Geode predictor tool. It tells you the gemstones for the junk. That one hurts. I brute force that thing almost every single time. I'm too impatient. Can I stop fishing up paintings? I only want trash. Leave me alone. Oh, I don't even want to give away the cloth. Oh well. Who keeps throwing paintings? It's all the same one as well. F1 and a crystal and it gives you the list of the gems in order. It can even tell you which ones you've already touched. What? Oh, it's set at the seed, right, okay. You just say it out loud and sometimes that helps. I do it by the melody. Come on, Trash. We there yet? I'll fix the top part of the farm tomorrow. Practice you hum the melody as well, yeah. That's, I find it so much easier to do it that way. That's, I feel like this is just how my brain works. I like musical things. I need to grab my socks shortly. They're behind me. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna- Damn it! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. As soon as I like let go, I realised. Right. Where are we? Okay, three more pieces. We can do that. We can do that tonight. Path of literally worked with Concern Day on 1.6. Oh, that's awesome. I will say, now that I know it's a thing, I didn't know... I don't know anything about the Desert Festival yet, other than it exists, so um... In literally like a few days I will. I will know. Ah! We've got it, we've got it, we've got it. <laughs> no, you're all good. Most people would know by now. Um, I've just been really slow. Because I've been so like constantly overstimulated. No, no, you're all good. <laughs> That's like one of, it's literally one of the things. There's there's 
basically there's some new stuff on Ginger Island that I don't know much about and the Desert Festival I don't know anything about other than it exists but at the time when I was doing the first year I didn't know about it um, until it was too late. I guess that's a minor video spoiler. Take the shortcut! We'll get all the resin tomorrow as well. Right. Drop all of them. Oh. Oh no! Don't put everything in the wrong order. Right, go to bed, sort it out, all out in the morning. Give me some rain. It's all good. <laughs> 1380. Is it a shortcut if I have to backtrack? Well, yes, because of the amount of distance of backtracking. Is it bad that you're debating on doing a third round of Trashy Merchant now with 1.6? Please do it. That'll be fun. There's so many like vanilla challenges that we've seen that I want to try with 1.6. Did you know that the parts of many kinds of tree can be made into natural tea? You can usually brew them like a normal tea, though sometimes they need to be processed. Birch, ginkgo, spruce and willow all have bark and leaves that make teas. The seeds from pine, maple and oak can also be made into teas if you prepare them correctly. You can also use holly leaves to make a tea that is naturally caffeinated. Make sure you only brew the leaves because the berries are toxic. Holly leaves can also be used to make a special kind of gin. Again, make sure you only use the leaves and no berries. Try making tea with some of the forage I collected today. You might be surprised how good it is, Linus. <laughs> Willow bark and holly. I need the tea thing. Bye, the seeds. Fish taco. Right. This is going in my... I need to make stuff with this chest. You still haven't wrapped your head around the farm layout? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a lot, isn't it? What am I going to do with all these paintings? I guess... I know what we're going to do. Uncle Aero approved tea. Looks cute and is updated for 1.6. Wait, is that from- is that an avatar reference? Oh no! Oh no! Robin, why? Why have you done this? Robin? Oh my god, what am I gonna do? Um, there we go. <laughs> Linus is our uncle era. Only, so the reason I was like, is that an avatar reference is because I've only just watched all of it recently. That was one of the things I just binged. Two days and nine hours on the perfume. Uh, let's do, okay, so I'll go get my axe. Corridor. Ah, uh, it's fine. It. I'll do it on the next painting. Wait, is there something else in here I haven't shipped yet? I just saw a shipping icon. Oh, these. I'm gonna leave them here for now, I kinda need them. Move this one by the fireplace and put it there. I probably should have done that. I'll, I'll do it next time I remember. Still need tappers. Did I watch the OG or the live action? I watched the uh, OG one. I've been told to avoid the live action. Actually no, I did watch- I watched the live action after. I- I mean, it wasn't horrible. I, it was better than I thought it would be. But it was also like, eh. Because <laughs> I watched it immediately after. The only thing is like, um, what is it? The Legend of Horror or something? That was like, came up obviously as recommended on Netflix like right after I finished uh, Avatar and, oh, that's a fence. I, I just couldn't get into it. New live action is so much better than that movie though. Yeah, that one I know I will be avoiding. Could have been so much better, but could have been so much worse. Yeah. That is my thought. I do, I did find it a bit like, 
Some of it felt a bit strange where the lines were like word for word. And I get like, obviously I get why they did that, but just like, you know when it just doesn't feel right? No! Whoops. At least they pronounced the names right this time. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Missy Rhiannon, hello, how you doing today? You just saw a poster for an Atlas tool similar to what? Oh, for an Avatar tour similar to what Stardew Valley did with a the concert. They did also, um, uh, there's also been uh, candlelight concerts around this country for Zelda music. Which looked cool. Right. What do you want? I don't have one of those at the moment. I want to take the shortcut down to the woods because I really want to make sure we get to see all of the forest spirits today. Quartz, and then I need a gift for Emily. <gasps> I really need a gift for Emily, wait. We're gonna go to the forest first. The reason I say that is it's raining today. I'm wondering if this will get her to 10 hearts. Will it get her to 10 lights? Wait. No, never mind. I mean, I still need to give her one. I know there's a dandelion there, but I'm too lazy to go get it. All of the Stardew concert showings sold out in three days. <laughs> They're a bit too much of a travel for us. I considered going to the London one, but like we looked at the um like the venue for it and I get a bit like claustrophobic when the seats are kind of too tight and the ones that the seats that I would kind of have needed like I'm sure the way that the seats are kind of laid out I would have needed some that would have been benches which makes me uncomfortable because like there's no seat separation between you and a stranger and that makes me feel weird and like I looked at the size of the benches in the picture and it's meant to fit like five people and I'm like I don't feel comfortable with that <laughs> so yeah Emily's Ten Heart is kind of cute. I'm excited to find out about it. The hate Cora gets is insane. All the discourse around it is so flimsy. Just say you don't like women. I just... I think it... I didn't not like it because I hated it. I just didn't... couldn't get into it for whatever reason. Divine Fruit. I'm gonna need that. A radiant golden apple that shines like the setting sun. Hesperidium are grown in the gardens of the gods and are used to make ambrosia. This fruit is produced by a dryad. And has a naturally intoxicating effect on average humans. Oh yeah, minus five speed. Look at that. Look at all those effects. Clover. I don't need that at the moment. I think I've seen a lot of these. Oh, wait. Hang on. This is new. A vibrant green dust made from pulverizing enchanted plants deep in the woods. This dust... This dust is said to have arcane properties known only to fairies and the other denizens of the forest. What does it do? I need it to make stuff. Of course I do. A hundred thousand gold for the recipe. Expensive. You're going to your first concert in June, you're kind of nervous. <laughs> You've got this. I hope you enjoy it. Or is a bit of a mess, but that's due to Nickelodeon being weird. Oh, they were weird about how many seasons they wanted. I haven't been to a concert in years. As in, like, I think the last time I went to a concert, I was literally a teenager. What was my last concert? I think it was Example. 
I don't really have like much of a music taste anymore though. I will happily like go on a road trip and just listen to the Stardew soundtrack. Where am I going? I don't want to be here. <laughs> Hi Emily! I'm in, I'm, I want to show you some- oh this is dance- we're not going to hear it. We're not going to hear it. Not going to hear it at all. Phoenix Wolf, hello, how you doing? What I'm going to do is... Whilst this is going, I'm going to be right back. Okay, I am back. The slow clap option, I feel awkward doing that. I feel so awkward doing that. I don't think I could. Does anyone know? Because, like, I don't, I don't want to pick it if it's going to, like, ruin things. Did I just say it was amazing? I wish you could look up anything on an option. You would live if someone did a slow clap for you. See, my brain wouldn't know how to interpret it. I would literally be like, okay, are they doing that because they're being genuine or is it like sarcasm? Amazing and slow clap are both? Okay. Thank you. Embarrassing is minus 50. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. That was quite a workout. I can freaking imagine. The fact that I've just like left it hanging here for like a minute. I haven't been this sweaty since I ordered the pepper platter at Abigail's graduation fiesta. Wait, how long ago did she graduate? Can you like pass me some of your less sweat jeans? I <laughs> don't forget to like the stream. Yes, if you're over on YouTube and you're enjoying yourself, don't forget to hit like on the stream. It does help us out a lot. These for you? What a wonderful gift. Oh yes, yeah, about meditating. Don't tell anyone about the dance, that was for your eyes only. Oh, don't worry. I won't. Oh. I wish we could buy the mermaid pen early. Who are we marrying? Um, we are marrying Emily. Maru I married in the messed up Stardew series, so I don't want to go back to her yet.
you'd be oblivious to not understand how anyone seeing you perform is anything short of amazing. It has to be positive. I'm just like a nervous person. I forgot to hydrate. Oh, I hydrated when I was BRB. I drank quite a lot of water. As a chat of usually anxious or neurodiverse people, slow cap could mean anything. Generally, it's a positive like, wow, that was the best thing I've ever seen. It's difficult because I've seen that, but I've also seen it used as a severely sarcastic kind of way. Have trouble remembering? No, it's all good. I was just explaining my explaining my choice. Maya, hello. My hoodie is like rolled up. It's so uncomfortable. Oh, there we go. What are we doing? We are doing not that. This. Boop. And this. There we go, we've made a start. Raspberry puree. So we've got the trees growing. What else do we need? Extra virgin olive oil. So how do we make that? I need to get comfortable. Olive paste. I need to find out how to make olive paste. I wonder if it's in a puree jar or something. I wish that was a way to like F1 from there, but you can't. Which sucks. The struggle of being British and neurospecty. <laughs> yeah. You have trauma from people teasing you with a slow clap, but in movies it's usually positive. Yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult. Oh yeah, milk pail. Oh no, it's going to be too late now. I'm not going to make it to Marnie's on time, am I? Did I already buy a milk pail? Like, what if I've already got one? I think I'm just going to miss the milk. If I miss the milk, I miss the milk, whatever. What I do want to do is... Explore. Olive in the auto mill? Does that sound like a good idea? I don't think I can have any olives yet. Sam wants an emerald. Oh. We'll probably do at some point. Where am I going? I'm going to the minecart. Nope, we're going to go get the bus because I can get the minecart at any hour of the day. You saw that home cooked bundle and suddenly had horrible flashback. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's kind of painful to think about. Praying that you don't get it on your newest run. Your newest trashy merchant. Oh, oh no, the forager will still be there when we get off the bus. I'm gonna hydrate again though, I am thirsty. Okie dokie. Where am I going? Up here. This is for you. If you do not properly care for your livestock, they will not produce for you. It may be best to wait until you've adequately prepared your farm. Uh, yeah, I've just like left the cows. A green onion? That's difficult to a spring onion. I should buy it. Just in case. And this. Pigment. Oh, you just put sand? No, I'm not going to buy that. Apple of I Oh no! Whoa! I need the app- the- we just bought this- this thing. I'm pointing with my finger, you can't even- we need this to- 500 grand for that recipe! This? Rapidax is very expensive. <laughs> Hawk feather! Damn it. Didn't know if I needed it for a bundle. At least I've got a cactus flower here to give to Sandy. 20 luck. Can you imagine wanting to like use that? Here you go. Enjoy the flower. Have you got anything new recently? No. Hmm. Do I have this? Have I already done this? Reduces in the fort. Right, I'm gonna buy one. I have to keep checking stuff. I'll be rich and just buy it all. We'll get there. Because usually I don't really like fully prioritise money until like genuinely till year three. Because I often take this year to like 
get all of my ingredients and stuff together. That's just not going to happen. Really. <laughs> Potato Magic, thank you so much for using your Prime sub over on Twitch. I very much appreciate it. Thank you so much. Eden Apples, keep the North Norse gods youthful. Oh, it's pronounced like eat. Okay, I understand what's going on now. Hey, do you have ribs? I'm actually really jealous. Why do you always have such amazing food? Annie, hello! You crashed your car and busted a foot. <gasps> I'm so sorry, I hope you're okay. Well, I mean, obviously your foot's not okay, but like... I'm, uh, I'm glad that it was a foot and not much more. I guess the bright side of uh, hanging out and <laughs> being able to chill. Hopefully you can get yourself in loads of stardew time as well. I hope your foot recovers quickly. That's rough. Drop off all this forage. Oh, I've already got a hawk feather then. Special fruit and stuff I've been keeping in here. Tumbleweed. Do I have a place for that? No, I don't, because I think I just shipped. It's like, what is that? I keep wanting to ship stuff that's of lower quality and then realizing I probably shouldn't do that. I'm going to need it. You should have been paying more attention and going slower. The SUV you hit shouldn't have been in park a green light. Yeah, that's a horrendous combination of things to happen all at once, isn't it? Oh, I do. <laughs> No! Alright. Two olive trees it is. Whatever. Whatever. This is gonna go here now. Oh no, sorry bear. Right, let's let's see if we can do a little hunt for this uh this milk bale. Look, I don't know where it is. You're picking up Vietnamese food? Ooh, what are you getting? Um I don't think I've got any. Milk pail, milk pail. Milk pail? No milk pail. We need a milk pail. Taking an early night because I want to forage in the daylight tomorrow. One can be an oil live tree. What is this? I've added some more trees and crops to my shop. Did you know some crops have seeds which can be used as spices? If you see seeds that look unique, try putting them in an auto mill or a dry packer. Ooh, okay, I never thought of that. Ooh, clothing therapy. We've got to, we got to go to that. When does this grow? Plant in the fall. I'm going to keep it for now. Have I seen the new Fallout TV show? I heard about it existing, but I haven't seen it because I wasn't really ever into Fallout. If I'm honest. I want to check on- I saw a loom, hang on. I just wanted to see if I needed it for much else. I do, so I'm gonna bring it. Who's- oh it's Kent's birthday. Have we got anything for him? Oh we can use the silver coins, right? Oh yeah, these are people I literally haven't even seen yet. Hello, ancient coin. Iridium feather, all the, all the expensive stuff. Let me see if I've got any iridium quality aloe. You're an anxious and an angry driver. I get anxious on certain types of roads. I'm not really a country road person. Do I also play Animal Crossing? Sometimes I get the itch for it, but it's not very often anymore, to be honest. So, everyone likes these, right? Puck, Amanra... Coyote? Not a love gift for Coyote. Okay, I'm just gonna stick with Quartz. And then, Sam wanted an Emerald. Do I have any aloe? Yes. 
Also, have I given... No, I've given two gifts already. Alright, let's go. Diamond for Marnie. I want to see if there's enough gift I can give her because we're going there anyway. Coin, why don't I just bring a coin? And in fact, I'll just bring like five with me. You like the countryside in the UK? Oh, I hate driving in country roads at all. Legend Finn, thank you so much for continuing to be a strawberry. I appreciate you being in the berry basket for the past three months. Thank you so, so much. And Michaela, thank you so much for uh, being a cranberry for seven months as well. I almost missed that. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. Seven months of cranberry. I very much appreciate it. Well, and hello. How you doing? Yeah, I'm not a backroads person. I got to, uh, taken on a route like that today. They're not my favourite, especially in the dark as well. It's just like, no. Because I'm, um, like, I'm not horrendously slow in most cases, but like, when it comes to country roads, I am. I don't understand how people can, like, just fly down there at 60 on a single track road where you just can't tell another car is coming. Oh, I've already given two gifts. Whoop. I'm not the only emissary of nature in this world. It would benefit you to seek out those who live in the desert, mountain, swamp, jungle, and seaside. Well, I'm busy at the moment. Linden. I don't know if I've seen this before. It's only 75 gold. Broccoli we can wait for. It takes five ever. It's like a reverse hit and run. You totaled it? Oh no! People that do 60 on back roads are just rolling a dice. Well, that's the thing is, like, I don't understand how people do this because I'll be, you know, driving at a safe speed because... And a lot of these people, to be fair, like, a lot of these people would probably know these roads more than me. Um... And so, obviously, I'm a little lower. And you just, like, sit with, the, like, multiple cars up your backside the entire time. So much fun. And there's, like, potholes everywhere. How are people just, like, flying down there? I don't get it. I don't get it at all. I've never been good with those. Like, as the years have gone on, I've never been, like, never even got better at enjoying those roads. I avoid them when I can. I would rather sit in traffic, thank you. The amount of times you turned a corner and found a horse, pheasant or, pe pheasant or person walking is scary. Yeah, exactly. You don't know, like... I know that the speed limit says 60, but that's a limit. It doesn't mean you have to drive at 60 on a road that you, like... You can't do those corners at 60. Alley drivers are bad. I've not experienced driving over there, but... Um... Yeah. Where you live, there's so many road constructions and road bumps. Driving past 60 is going to be crazy. Yeah. It's, I don't I don't know how people can just do that. Hydration reminder, I shall indeed hydrate shortly. Oh, the shamrocks kind of blend in with the ground. Not ideal. Other than in big cities you find driving really relaxing. Yeah, I find it like chill on most roads, but then I'm I'm very much a motorway driver. I like driving on motorways a lot. Um boop. How's my farm doing? It's doing amazing. I need... Hail. Wait. Okay, so I, I really didn't have one. If you make a mistake, you'll end up in a ditch, so better safe than sorry, yeah. At the end of the day, if I have to deal with like a few people who are minor irritated by me, dri me driving safe, I would rather that than end up in a ditch. <laughs> When's the next supermarket stream? It'll be Saturday. Kent, where are you? You're at home. It's like you're asking to ruin your tyres. Yeah, exactly. And like... I... We only just got new tyres, so I don't want to ruin those. Here you go. Happy birthday. Give us a little bit of a boost. Because you are new here. 
Where is he? There we go. That went well. Here you go. You don't get one. Wait, is it a love gift for you? Yes. You like salad? You're telling me Vincent likes salad and not strawberries. Can somebody explain that? <laughs> Pull over when you can, even if it's on a flat of grass. It lets people overtake. Yeah, most of the time I like make sure I'm in a like I don't get annoyed if, at people overtaking. If that makes sense. Like I'd rather they do that. That is my like thing. Rather they do that than sit up my backside the entire time. The thing is, like, we were doing really fine for potholes over here, and then all of us this winter in particular has just ruined the road where it's been particularly wet. Where am I going? I wanna go to Coyote. You downloaded Terraria this afternoon? <gasps> have you, wait, have you played it before, Wilwyn? Excuse me, Linus. I'm too busy. Too busy to watch you bathe because that's weird as well. Here you go. I feel like the red background is very ominous. Beacon we've got already. Should I get another one though? Chicory flower. Have I done this already? I mean, I'm gonna. It's 15 gold. Hello? I just bought it for 15, but I can sell it for 16. It's obviously not like infinite money or anything because you don't get it back. And here's the n another one of these things. Faintly luminous liquid that becomes powder if spilled, reverting to liquid form once returned to its bottle. This can cure any ailment. It's capable of bringing a person near death back to perfect health. 750 energy, 337 health. It can even regrow lost limbs and organs. But if I find these things, um, we can also make it in the auto mill, I guess. Or do it by crafting. Well, I'd have to do it by crafting, right? Because of the craft everything thing. And I also need it for this wine. I need to put an immunity band in the wine, excuse me. Ah oh, yes, let me just drink my jewellery. Never played before, just have some idea from watching the streams. Oh my gosh. I hope you have fun. It's brutal, but so much fun. James, hello! Just sipping on rings, yeah, literally. Alright. Yes, hydrate with all of your jewellery. Don't give her that. Give her that. You now know what the road bumps and cracks are, you didn't know they're called potholes. <laughs> some of them are like worse than others, <laughs> but there are some like wheel breaking ones about. I've definitely been victim to one that dented my wheel. My first ever pothole that I went through in the dark. It was not fun, it scared me so much and my- it was a like older sort of inexpensive car so it had like hubcaps on it and I lost it off the road somewhere. <laughs> Two gifts. <clears throat> Two gifts already? Good grief. What happened there? I feel like I need to- uh, not buy that, but I feel like I need to buy a lot of things. Now... Oh, don't I need lavender for something? Harvest in the fall. I think I've got that at home already. I'm pretty sure I've got it. 
You all peeled tires on the side of the road. Alligators and the rubble strips are called turtles. <laughs> you know, a pothole sounds bad when it feels or sounds like it could have been a body. That it's terrifying, isn't it? Wow, I've been doing well on the gifts this week. You're not sure if watching the Terraria streams make you want to play it more or less. Yeah, understandable. Ooh. Have 10 of that on hand. Wow, 19 grand. You've had potholes you can't see the bottom of. Yeah, they're magic. Take a long time to fill because they need to find out where they go first, I guess. But the thing, I guess the awkward thing is as well, like the way that they have to just patch them. But then they, all that happens when they patch them poorly is that the patch just like breaks eventually. And not only that, the pothole is now bigger. <laughs> Right, milk pail is done. We've got the milk pail. Uh, let me just put everything away first. Is it like... Is a... Oh no, I just pressed this. So, these are going in here. No, not the fishing rod. Milk time! They pour it in like it's ice cream and then don't even smooth it. Yeah, it's like just an obvious bump in the road now. So strange. It is slapping on a band-aid, but it's like, okay, we can just like put a patch on it or we can like close the entire road and resurface the entire thing, which is obviously expensive and a pain. Like they have to like fix a pothole a certain number of times or something before they can actually um before they can actually, like, resurface it. <laughs> and some roads they just don't care about. You look at those roads like I guess I'll die. Our infrastructure is whack. Crumbling concrete. The city sold your sports team California 10 years ago. They haven't spent the money yet still. City said pick lights, high city workers or road. What? That's such an odd choice. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of some of these trees. Hey, we got our first milk though. I think these are normal, not large ones. I do need them for the community center though. I'm not gonna put the goat's milk in there because that's kind of expensive. We'll make cheese. Cheese is fun. What did you need again? Oh, fishing level. Nice. That was unexpected. Uh, shall I just ship a goat's milk? Yeah, we'll ship one and then we'll make the other into cheese. These are going in here though. I'm gonna go put the milk pail by these machines as well. I might as well. Have it close to where I need it. I don't have a cheese machine. <laughs> oh, how funny. Can we be bothered to make one right now? Probably not. Probably not. How am I doing with the fishing as well? I think a lot of the fish I need are rain or not in season or oh I don't want to move the crab pots. I guess I have to. Did I do that today? I suppose I should. Friar or Stardew tomorrow? Why not both? Sometime on one and sometime on another. I 
No cheese, how dare you? We'll make cheese at some point. I've kept the thing for the cheese. Oh, I meant to get cheese strings today, I forgot. You've been playing No Man's Sky for two weeks? What a game. I haven't played a huge amount of it, but when I did, for the few days that I did, I really enjoyed it and got very much sucked in. Depends on if it's modded Stardew or not, because you prioritise the mods, yeah. I am definitely a- Oh, look at the new shell! I'm definitely someone who prefers playing with mods for sure. I think you all know this about me by now. But obviously this first year of Stardew 1.6 I am doing unmodded. I haven't decided if I even want to add stuff for the second year yet, you know, things like just literally like UI info suite. But I'm worried that it might accidentally spoil things for me, so I don't know what to do. Or if I should just do the entire thing without mods. Look at all this stuff. Right, let's put these here. You fear space so you can't cope with No Man's Sky, but you love the huge turnaround the game made. Yeah, I heard, wasn't it like... I was looking forward to it for a while and then everyone said, oh my god, it's such a terrible game. But then when I got around to playing it, I was like, why are people complaining? Because obviously, like, after people said it was terrible, I didn't really follow it that much. I didn't really look that much into it either, because it was kind of like, oh, I might get it, I might not. I was kind of like on the fence. But a lot of people said a lot of stuff about it that made me think it wasn't a good idea, so I didn't. You wish you could walk through the rock ball? You can on expanded. It feels weird that you can't. <laughs> I mean, like, I did end up getting used to being able to do that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to look through here. I'm gonna get rid of some of this extra stuff because it's kind of excessive. Um, like, why do I need this much stuff? Like, eventually, I will need a lot of this stuff, but this is just can't cope. Feels weird getting trash with quality on it. Right, let's have a look what we need this for. Ooh. I wish I could F1 on something from the look of anything thing. Okay. This is a bit better. Like, what? <laughs> Iridium quality driftwood, hello? I'm gonna keep it for now, but some of this is kind of like a bit much. I'm keeping this. The new one. It was pretty bad on release, they didn't deliver on a lot of what was promised. But they delivered after release and added even more. Right, that makes sense. Yeah, it was... When did I play it? I think it was 2021. So quite a long time after they released it. Quality trash sounds like me. <laughs> I do love this statement. Ferraria to build you up, Stardew to wind you down. Yes. I like this, I like this, a lot. Maybe quality gives you more when recycled? I have no idea. I don't know how it works. See if I'm putting recipe! Excited about that. My stomach just made the most awful growly noise that was <laughs> uncomfortable. My appetite's so all over the place at the moment. One day till daisies. 2016? Isn't it weird? Like, some of these years, like, we're in 2024. Yeah, 2014 was 10 years ago. I don't like that. <laughs> well, this stuff's ready, but I'm gonna wait. Because I don't urgently need it. So I think I'm just gonna wait until, like, all the cauliflower's done. And then redo it with more either rhubarb or cauliflower. So... We're gonna go to Robin. Do the coop or the barn upgrade first? Probably the barn. How much is the barn upgrade? Hang on. I think it'll be the deluxe barn now.
25 grand. I haven't. I have just got enough money. As long as the traveling car doesn't have anything, we'll be alright. So, woodstone. That's it. I keep going to break that tree. You don't think you'd play Terraria alone for now? Playing with a friend that knows the game made it so fun? Oh, I like that. Tummy grumble. Yeah, I keep on like... Just obviously before stream, Michael usually cooks, but today like we... Oh, but the day was looking a lot different to what it usually does. So he said, do you want anything? eat for dinner and I was, I was hungry and then as soon as like the idea of eating food that was a meal came to me my brain went Ugh. <laughs> no and I'm someone who's like used to being incessantly hungry so this is odd for me have I done that yet not really any point in that don't need these immediately no okay I'm also gonna check the shop over here as well when I was talking about loops last stream, you kept thinking of a meme of the cat being like, Brother, may I have some loops? I have not seen this meme. Woo -hoo. It's scary when you go to work and find out your colleague was born in 2003 and looks and acts like an adult. Scary realization that people born in early 2000 are allowed to drive cars or drink alcohol. <laughs> Oh my god, I saw, <laughs> I saw someone today with a car that had a, like, pass, a pee plate. So, like, the pee plate, if you don't know, after you pass your test, it's optional for you to put a plate on your car that says P. So, like, obviously, learners would have L's. P for, like, I've just passed, which is kind of like, I've just passed, maybe still give me a little bit of room. I'm still, like, <laughs> you know, getting used to driving and stuff. And, oh, do I need this? Yes. It's only 40 gold. Their car was like a... What was it? I think it was like a 2016 Citroen DS3 or something like that. Which, when I was learning, that was a like... I think only one person who ended up with a car that was something like that. Which then was outrageous for anyone to like get anything that new. But now I look at it and it's like, oh. Was it 2016? No, it was 2011. It was a 2011 Citroen DS3 and I was like, that's a 13 year old car. It does not look like a 13 year old car to me now. What was I here for again? I was just checking the shop for stuff, wasn't I? Chestnut, do I need that immediately? Not really. No. Can I just get it anyway? It's 125, just... Just buy it. Just buy it. Get it for forage. Go away, slime. Not interested in your antics today. Keep a snack by you or you'll suddenly realise it's 6pm and you've only had toast. See, that's the one thing is like, I, I mostly don't have to think about cooking or food because literally Michael handles all of that for me. <laughs> and like, you know, sometimes I'll get up and get the odd snack. But he does like all the cooking and stuff for me and so like the other day he was like feeling pretty unwell and napped for the entire evening and it got to a certain time in the day and i was like i didn't realize what the time was first of all because i was just like tunnel visioned on this Dardu video um which was just me basically editing in the fishing week for this week's video and well i still need to record the voiceover part which i think i'm gonna do after stream but the um i had to like edit and like make notes and stuff and i just did not realize that i hadn't eaten i was like why am i starving <laughs> it's because i don't like i don't have to think about it ever anymore it just it was like oh it's almost nine and i haven't eaten this is why i feel like this so I just like, I made, what did I make? Some uh, eggs and beans on toast and it was very delicious. Not that I can't cook, it's just that I don't. <laughs> your car now is 2012, but in your head it can't be 12 years old. 
Your first car was 2005 and they're so different. Yeah, I've had, what have I had? I've had like a range of different things. Oh, I need to actually make it to Robins. My first car was a 2003 Polo, BW Polo. I did love that thing. Next car after that was a 2006 one. Also drove a 20... 16, 2016 Peugeot 308. I liked that car. Um, drove a very old 2006 Mazda 5. And now we have a 4D Eco Sport, which is not new. Even that's like eight years old. I I saw the jelly. I'm gonna come back for it. When you were doing stuff for disability, you always worked out. You basically worked out that you won't remember to eat unless someone prompts you. That's the thing, like, because the reason this is strange for me is because one of my meds makes me excessively hungry, like I can't stop eating ever. To the point of, like, I would have to- I'd literally have to, like, have just eaten something the second I start stream and then put something in me the second I finish. But now I don't need to do that. Like, I still get hungry after, it's just like, oh, I'll have a quick snack or whatever. And I don't have to eat the second before I f start streaming. But now it's, like, kind of normalised, which is weird for me. Uh, I'm still kind of getting used to that. Balanced out my appetite to a normal level. Mostly normal level. That song was a bop. It was a 2000 BMW two-door convertible. That is super sad. Because I imagine that was like a, a car that was like, even if it wasn't your dream car, it was something you must have been really, you probably really happy with. Your wife cooks because she loves cooking, so she always cooks, but she works, so during the day you have to try and remember to eat or you don't. I think that's like one of the, like my favorite things about the fact that obviously like, Michael does a lot of the editing for the weekly videos. And so it means he's here and available to help me with things as well. Because that's the other thing as well is like... Also partially due, due to things like my chronic fatigue and stuff, I do need help with things in general. Um, including things like being taught, like, you know, you need to take a break. <laughs> uh, I need more help than I probably seem like I do. And he does a lot of that for me. The adjustment is always hard. New medication makes your nephew feel not hungry, so he doesn't want to eat on it, but once it wears off, he can eat two whole pieces and more. It's just like all the appetite comes back at once. But that's the first time, like... I kind of fluctuate, so like... For the past few weeks, it's like my appetite's low again for most of the time, but like for the... Probably a month or so before that, it was like a fair amount higher. But now it's kind of now I'm back at like, oh, I need to eat because I need to eat. But I still enjoy food. I literally like, actually, to be fair, today I did eat a chocolate bar right before, <laughs> right before the stream. This is a cosmic whip. This is the, the the like knockoff Milky Way. I didn't show the bar. I just like stuffed it in my face as the game was loading up. Here's a good bad. Carp for a pizza. Carp pizza. Has anyone had fish on a pizza before? I suppose tuna pizzas are a thing. Not something I would pick. Granny, your ADHD meds also make you not hungry? Yeah, it's... I wasn't sure if it was gonna do anything because like nothing could override the hunger from my other meds before and it was like uncomfortable to the point of like when I had a retail job um or the two retail jobs I had one after the other I had to say at the interview stage because like some people some workplaces are obviously really funny about you like just disappearing for a break for a minute but I literally had to say in the interview like look I have this thing where I get no more than five minutes warning and my body is like, I'm hungry and like, you need to eat something now, even if it's just a cereal bar or you're gonna pass out. And I've never actually like fully blacked out from it, but like I get so shaky that I can't move at all. So I was like, 
will it be okay if that happens that I disappear for a minute for five minutes just to eat a cereal bar and then go back like I'm not trying to take a break I just need to like not feel ill <laughs> and they were like obviously both places were like yeah that's fine but I wanted to like say that beforehand so that they didn't think I was just like slacking <laughs> which like obviously most shifts I didn't have to worry about that because I just eat enough on a break but it's always nerve-wracking when you're having because it was the first time I'd like had to ask a new place a new workplace for very obviously that's like some sort of an accommodation I suppose in a way because most people would be like no just eat on your break but the first time I've had to ask for something so specific and it went it was fine like I had nothing to worry about right I've got too many of these I know I need to keep loads of regular shamrocks Oh, I need these too. That's so annoying. They're all different quality. No. Oh. Bruce tips. I can get rid of one. We'll do that. Yeah, later, Sage Sage. Thank you so much for hanging out. More and more often meals work for you best. I don't have huge meals when I have meals but I don't think I could do it too well I couldn't do a constant stream anymore you had someone at a restaurant ask you how you got there and you were like uh, I drove and they were like without your mum what that's weird why would why would someone ask that I keep checking this thing and I know what it is why am I doing this I wanted to see if I had one of those stars, I definitely don't. <laughs> That's a yikes. There's five, not six, why do I keep getting out six? Has anyone seen the Kara discourse in the UK right now? I have not. If it's something particularly controversial, I might have to suggest avoiding it, but I will have to read about it at some point. Someone thought you were 11? What? When you were 18? I've had the opposite, but I think it was just the person being rude, to be honest. I've had someone say, um, when I was 22, they thought I was in my 30s, and I was like, no. <laughs> just, just no. Milky Way, hello, how you doing? We've just been um, basically setting up for spring. I mean, setting up spring in general and getting some first things done and looking for community center stuff. You were two and you look like six. <laughs> That's so funny. like oh how old are you and I was like how old do you think I am and then when I told them they were like oh um you need training and I was like okay sure if you say so right I'm gonna f1 on the keg because I want to see if there's anything fun we can make in here that I haven't tried yet ah I've got to combine stuff no don't do that to me there's a lot of things we can make in this keg, okay. Like a lot, lot of things. Good grief. I wish there was an easy way to, for me to cross-reference some of the things I already have. Like, is there any point in me, like, working through any of this yet? Sickness did add years to be fair. You feel 50 but you're still in your 20s. Yeah, it's it's one of those things, isn't it? Like, I mean, I feel... My body feels older than I am. But I wasn't... Um, back then I wasn't sick yet. I mean, obviously... 
Uh, ADHD isn't really sick, but like, I hadn't felt the full effects of my ADHD yet at that point. It was a couple of years. I'm still go. We're still going. We're still going. Good grief. Yeah, it's the ones with multiple stages that are kind of overwhelming. Oh no, Wild Violet's different. That's kind of annoying. Okay. Oh, so I really am just going to have to find them. Okay. How am I going to do this? You keep locking your knees. That's uncomfortable. Oh yeah, I never actually... <laughs> um... Right, that's going in the shipping bin. We're going to put these in there. I wonder if... I can make perfume out of this. Imagine that, cranberry perfume. Have I got anything else? Oh my god, I need to put that apple in there as well. Hickory flower. Have I got anything that I've got several of? Yes, I've got quite a lot of flowers. Oh, hang on. Do I still have... No. How funny would it be if I could put a leek in there? <laughs> yes, let me spritz myself with leek scent. Sweet gem berry! Good grief. There's so much! Guys. Friends. Heaps. Uh. Star drops! I need three wines, two brandies, and a final one. Good grief. Right, this one's going away. I'm in too deep to back out now. Hey, I'm not backing out. I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> what do you take me for? I'm just trying to see if there's anything else in here I haven't shipped that I need to. Oh, it still keeps saying I need that for a bundle when I don't. I finish that bundle. Why does it keep saying that? I wanted to just see if I had any, um... Anything that I wanted to put in there immediately. Let's do this. I suppose we can put hollies in there, right? We can do the holly tea because we've got so much holly. Oh, I need to make a whole bunch of stuff with this, so let's take like that much. We'll also take the gold one because it's taken up a slot for literally no reason. If I don't recognise something, just don't worry about it. Oh, well, I very much recognise the star drop. Oh, yeah, this is what I need all the other stuff for. Okay. Um, what about this? I just wanted to see if I needed to put holly in there. Why, why didn't I just put the holly in there? Ground holly. There we go. <laughs> Problem solved. Why didn't I just do that? Milk's going in the community centre one. Just throw it in an experiment. It's so difficult to like... I keep thinking... Oh my god, what if I lose this thing? And it's like, no, you're gonna just to grow more, like, calm down. I feel like we're getting somewhere. Is anyone able to tell me, I can't remember from last time, what season the bearberry is available as forage? I was expecting that to be more, to be honest. I suppose it's only like seven wine, isn't it? 
It's all science, isn't it? If it's super expensive, hold fire, but even then it doesn't really matter, yeah. It's the rare stuff I worry about. Oh yeah, the big the big chests I don't think is a spoiler because obviously we were shown a leak of that. You're craving an apricot? I can probably help you. Right, today I think is a day that I might do this. And maybe we'll go get some potatoes to go in these places. You think it's winter? Oh, we just, I don't know if it, it... Someone said it was something else. I saw a comment. Whoa, look at all that stuff from that dandelion. Hello? We're going to plant another one. Wait, let me F1 this. Oh, I can get seeds in the auto mill. I'm gonna plant more. This is the root, right? Yeah. Of course, I'm gonna need this for a whole bunch of stuff. Right, daisies, I don't need immediately. I'll ship one now. Berries in winter and expanded. Yeah, that's why I got confused with it before. Right, the root. I'm gonna ship this one to get it done. And then... I'm gonna need a specific chest just for modded flowers. Daisy perfume, definitely. We'll make this another shade of orange. There we go. Let's go bring one over there though. And then see what else. Is there anything else here to harvest? Foxglove. Everyone sells this, don't they? I need to get more. Oh no, they're here, don't worry. All good. I need a tree. Damn it. Of course I do. Alright. Garlic. Did I not harvest all the garlic or did I not get enough? Either way, we've got it now. I definitely don't have enough garlic. Why did I only buy 14? I need way more garlic. Apricot for Emily. Gotta be Iridium. I'm gonna put that in the perfume chest as well. Um, Parsnips. Don't need this for very much. I'm gonna bring these over there with those. And... And pomegranate. Okay. You enjoyed your meal? I'm glad. Me with every single recipe should have brought more garlic. Just looking at the recipe in horror, like, what do you mean one clove of garlic? I think you mean four. There's definitely a typo. It must have meant four. It can't, it can't not have meant anything but four. Surely. I need a lot of garlic. Yeah, I probably should have got more. We'll go get more now. And yes, hello, hello to Nick. Uh, potatoes. No wait, I'm gonna make it all garlic. Ribs are too messy to eat in time. Oh yeah, I could never expect. <laughs> That'd be wild. Measure garlic and heart, not scales. Exactly. I will have to BRB for a minute once we get to Pierre's desk though. Hello, hello. Okay, I'll be right back.
Okay. Let's do this. Hydrating the snack. I'm, I'm definitely, um, I've been hydrating, but I do need to hydrate a little more. I know I haven't changed green yet. I will change green shortly. Oh my god, my throat. My throat's been hurting when I talk a lot at the moment. Okay. Let's do this. Right, Pierre? How much did I just harvest? 14. But then there's also like this much. All right, that'll do. Okay, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I know I'm gonna be able to replant it, so it's fine. Because it only takes a few days to grow, so I can just use any spare seeds later. Oh, Fox, thank you so much for becoming a strawberry. Welcome to the berry basket. Enjoy your crevice emotes. Thank you so much. How's there not a garlic emote yet? There's not a garlic emote, but there is a garlic badge. I think it's like a few years, three years, three years. Have I looked for stuff at the bottom of PS shop? Forgot. Thank you for the reminder. Some I know some of it's like saplings and stuff. Ah, here we go. Ooh, oh, those are so expensive. I haven't got enough money. So much problem with the pepper sauce. Matted wheat? Oh, it's a cereal. And then obviously these are all things I need to make other things with at some point. Garlic badge is now your 2027 goal. I love this. Garlic is everything. Who is from the Rainbow Junimo? Oh my god, May. Still can't believe it's been that long. <laughs> it's unbelievable. We have a new gifting week tomorrow. Oh, I need to go, wait. Clothing therapy. That's what we need to do. I know I forgot something. Rush? Oh, I've already been down here, haven't I? I usually skip this cutscene, but you know what, for you, I'll do anything, Emily. You're probably wondering, what is clothing therapy? I'll try to explain. Though many of us are struggling with personal issues, things holding us back from living how we want. It's important to me that everyone has free and happy life, so I came up with a new kind of therapy to help people achieve that. It's based off the amazing power of self-expression. Self-expression is a wonderful healing tool, did you know that? I did indeed. Behind this curtain you'll find racks and racks of clothes. There's endless options to choose from. Magic. Your job is simple. Find the outfit that truly speaks to you and put it on. Feel confident in yourself and your choice. You all have a unique style to share with the world. Jane, you're up first. Can I dress, dress up as garlic? Ah, Emmy, you're just in time. Just observe and keep an open mind, okay? What if I wanted to take part? The way he, like, changed his hair in that second as well. Yeah, where, where's the rack of clothes? Is it in Lewis's cabinet? <laughs> All stuffed in this little cupboard here. And yeah, how does, how does it fit everyone? Is everyone the same shape? Jane is a new side we've never known about, that's great. Now go outside with confidence and show the world. Sure. Where did you get the lipstick also? Okay, everyone gets a turn. Well, apparently I don't. <laughs> Clint's dreading it, of course he is. Look at the green dress! I feel like I've forgotten what she usually wears already. Go on, Lewis. What have you got? <laughs> like, 
like, where did he have time to do this to his moustache properly? Abigail's up for it. Ah oh, yes, I just have armor on a rack. It's sweaty in here. Ew. Ew. Flint's dread feed your soul. That's funny. Flint, you're up. M me? Wait, who else? Who else? What's it going to be, Clint? I forgot what he does here. Isn't it? Wh oh, what is that? Um. See, it's not terrible, but it's just. Mm, it's not giving. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Get out of here. Well, that went very well. I just hope this experiment helps everyone break out of their shells a bit. Storm Martin, hello, how you doing? The beret and the pink shorts. Yeah, the shirt is like, that's a cool shirt. But the rest of it is a bit like, I mean, if that's how you want to express yourself, like, I'm, I'm never going to tell anyone to not wear something they're happy in, but I don't think he thought that outfit through. And yeah, why isn't Emily... Uh oh. I couldn't do it. I don't want to break out of my shell. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, I guess I'm interrupting something here, aren't I? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I understand. I'll leave now. Congrats, Emma. <laughs> I win. Cynthia, hello. How you doing? isn't joining because she's the maker of it all but she could have had like a demonstration Hillary also hello how are you let's talk to these grab a few extra points a few extra friendship points never hurt anyone it'd be nice to be able to get the friendships sorted Is she home right now? Yes. Hello! Do you ever think about the texture of fabric? Each texture has a distinct personality. Fill my dress. I'm also confused about... Her dress on her character here has no sleeves, but it does here. It's a very different dress to what she's wearing. But yes, I absolutely understand the texture of clothing, because some textures of clothing horrifies me. Sensory issues with clothes, am I right? <laughs> the disappointment in my voice, I... Could not mask it. <laughs> Doing a last uh, forage check of the week. I need to make sure I check the backwards as well. Obviously it's Saturday, so forage resets tomorrow. Do you experience the texture of clothing or are you neurotypical? <laughs> Honestly though. The mood. That's one of the things like I do want to make sure I think about when it comes to whenever I think about doing merch. Um I'm a bit particular with that kind of stuff, so I want to make sure it's like I'm happy with it, you know. I mean, that's the general thing anyway, right? But I've obviously I've had samples in the past years ago, which weren't amazing. So I want to make sure it's not that, and especially after knowing how some of them holds up now after a long time, I know what to avoid now. You heard that F&F from Tesco were meant to be coming out with a sensory-friendly clothing line? 
I'm going to have to look this up. I kind of want to know now. You got a new cell phone, it reset all your stuff. Ah, uh, I, I mean, congrats on the new phone, but it sucks that all the stuff reset. Me, I don't think I experienced the texture of clothing. Also me, wears the same two t-shirts on rotation all week. <laughs> yeah, I have to feel the things, and that's why, like, a lot of the time I do struggle, like, unless... Raccoons have thumbs? What? Forest spirits? <laughs> anyway. Wisteria. I'm just gonna buy these things. A white carrot. What was I doing again? I don't remember. Has this been updated to 1.6 yet? No. Will probably be a while. What was I saying? Yeah, so most of the time when it comes to clothing, I like being able to feel them first. So I know what to expect. Uh, it's first time in a long time that I've like ordered a piece of clothing was this without like knowing what to expect because obviously you might think oh yeah but it's just a hoodie but different brands make hoodies differently and this turned out well. But also like I don't usually jump on uh, like random clothing ads but this I wasn't going to pass on this Pass up a Sylveon hoodie. Ever in my life. What an oh no, not you again. <laughs> you crochet most of your clothes? Oh my goodness. You can feel the wood and you, wool and you know how you feel about it. Yeah, because you can literally like pick the wool that you want for your clothes. That's awesome. That's actually awesome. I will get these uh, garlic seeds down at some point. Oh, I forgot to go give Emily the apricot. What an idiot. You got fed up of itchy clothes. That is so understandable. Plus, if you crochet them for yourself, you know they're going to fit. Freaking awesome. I am starting to, like, where I'm tired be at the point of the day where what I'm saying might not come out with the same amount of enthusiasm as I am actually trying to <laughs> try to put across. So if it sounds like I'm just, like, saying something, it's because I'm really tired. <laughs> Right, put everything away. Oh yeah, seeds. I knew I forgot to do something there. You're making a long top right now with thick and fluffy wool. That sounds really fun. <gasps> Community center. What was that noise? I just <laughs> what just happened? What was the sound I just produced? I <laughs> I don't even. <laughs> you got a hundred percent cotton t-shirt years ago from Candom Market. Best you've ever had. That has got some major tears in it now? No, that sucks. Especially when you get it from somewhere like that where it's kind of hard to just like get another one. You kind of can't. Alright. What else do I need to do today? I don't think anything urgent. Let's go donate these things. So we can just like see where we're at. This is taking so long. Have I got any bro today? Your internet's dropping off. Oh no! We're getting like a rainbow trout row a day. That's not too bad. You get blisters from crocheting. There's something about crocheting I just don't like the feel of and I don't know how to deal with it. I know it's something to do with the yarn but just like I get the shivers thinking about it. I don't know what it is. I just... I don't know. I don't know if anyone's into Critical Role or D&D in general, but their t-shirts are super soft. They've been your main 
live in t-shirts for years now. I know about... I've never done any d and And also have not heard of uh, Critical Role. There we go. So maybe what I should be doing, I figured myself out for a second. I need these trees. So curry leaf, baobab, kiwi, and bayberry. I need to keep my eye out for that. Because obviously next season is summer, so I would have those ready. Because then I know that I can get trees ready. I've got to put the perfume. I've started to try and get back into needle felting again. Now I assume that's going to be from hmm, probably these two vendors. You're going to continue with your mystery on Friday where you last left off two weeks ago. <gasps> have fun. I hope you have fun, May. But how is it? Excuse me, how is it past 9pm already? Where's time going? Somebody explain that one. How dare time move. I don't approve. Did not mean for that to rhyme. I've ruined it now. <laughs> no! Stop it. Oh, I've only got two grand, so there's no point in me trying to even do that. Right, let's have a look. What do we get? Ground holly. So I can make tea with the ground holly, but I can also ship it, so that's what I'm going to do. How much is it worth? 130. I'm not going to ship it like that every time, but... Um, apricot for Emily. Mayo. I'm going to give this to Emily now because I'm going to forget. Your party is divided? Oh no. You're working on a 1.6 version of the Trashy Merchant. Some rules have changed. Ooh. I hope you have fun with that challenge. It was such a good challenge, even to do, I mean, obviously to do 1.5, like, before I even had any thoughts of 1.6. My spine needs to. Okay. I crunch like a glow stick. Sending surviving vibes. <laughs> Here you go. Yay! Okay, we need rain. As soon as possible. Literally as soon as possible. Hi. Hi. Oh. Well, okay. Um, hi. 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 I need to handle this machine at some point. I don't know when I'm going to do it because I think, like, I worry about being demonetized from it. And so, um, I buy salads right now. I'm kind of not got enough money. What I probably have to do is just like dedicate one stream where I know it's going to not be good. <laughs> that machine there. Critical Girl Roll is 90 episodes of 5 hours long. That's wild and kind of awesome. I'm 
Tiny bit of gold. Tiny bit. Queen of Swords. I'm pressing the wrong button. There we go. <gasps> it's gonna rain tomorrow. There we go. What are we gonna give Lewis? <clears throat> I guess we'll just default to the coins again. Oh, that's so annoying that these violets are different. How dare. I want to give you this advice because I like you and I want you to stay in Pelican Town. Oh, it's about the mermaid's pendant. Let's go camping! Meet me in the secret woods after 10. <gasps> okay. We're going camping. I need to harvest my kale. Naruto, you're a DM. Oh my gosh, I bet that's fun. Where's my honey? Where's my bee house? What have I done with my bee house? I haven't got a clue where I've put it. No, I just saw it. I just saw it. Why have I got a tapper in here? That's going as well. Right, do I need this? I mean, yes. Dip the gold one. Now, potato-wise... We'll keep all those ones. Actually, I'm probably going to need a lot for a lot of things, right? Oxidizer, yep. Actually, it's not that many. I could probably get away with those. We can grow more later. I'm going to keep these to turn into something. We'll put you here. I'm just going to leave those flowers where they are for now. I keep checking this, I don't mean to. I promise. Mm, milk. No, stop picking it up. I thought you can't just treat it like the other shipping bin, where you can just like sort of semi-walk by it. Gotta to get to the desert today as well. Wait, why am I doing that with all the eggs? Don't oh no, I've already donated the eggs, haven't I? It's just the flour and the milk for the home cooks bundle that I still need. I oh know I missed. How awkward must it be if you miss? Milking a cow. Give me that dandelion. I if I should put these. I guess I should grow more of those dandelions. Oh, this is already working still. We'll put them in here. Um, keeping the goat milk in here for now. Okay, Lewis's birthday. Where are you? Lewis, there you are. Hello, ancient coin. Anything? Oh, jalapenos. I guess that makes sense. I think I've got some of those. I wanted to see if I've got anything with some sort of quality on it. I know I had jalapenos, what if I- Oh, those are basic. I've only got one gold one. Eh. Fine, you can have it. Promote your first run as a DM? Oh my god, good luck and have fun. This is gonna go. Oh no, that's because there's not a tree there. I know that there's a tapper, there's a tree somewhere that doesn't have a tapper. I just don't know where it is. None of these, I remember that. I think it's up here. Making a Stardew themed DD campaign, that could be cool.
Let's grab the horseradish. I'm surprised no one's done that yet. I mean, maybe they have, I just haven't heard of it, but like... You know. Oh, forgot about the mushrooms for a long time. Roll for cow. <laughs> Where am I going again? Um, We'll go this way. You play a Stardew RPG? It does have fun, I will say. But I've never done anything like that before, so... The idea kind of makes me nervous. Oh no, I forgot to bring a gift. Oh well. Um, Lilac, Lucky Clover. Oh, I don't want to buy the Lucky Clover yet. So, can we... you sell any of these things? You sell this, but that's for fall. Oh no, that's for spring, sorry, which I can't afford at the moment. Alright. Not there. You think I'd be Caroline? Why would I be Caroline out of curiosity? White truffle feta. Nothing of interest here. I'm gonna need that later, but that's later, not now. Um, foraging loops, it's Sunday. Give me that. I wonder why the forage dandelions can't drop all the other stuff as well. You'd main Lewis just to have the DM construct be an elaborate backstory- uh, make the DM construct an elaborate backstory for him, that'd be so funny. I feel like also knowing- it would be cool to incorporate, like, people have obviously come up with um, some lore for mods like Ridgeside and um, like Stardew Expanded and stuff. Tea saplings? I do like tea saplings. This is true. Bone flute! New. It's new. He's got 10 HP and minus 3 to athlete. <laughs> the thought of that is kind of funny. Marlon can give you questions and later you could meet Big Bad Mr. Key. Finally being able to confront Mayor Lewis about his gold statue problem. Our taxes, honestly, our taxes. They're not supposed to be spent on such things. Risky trash search. What happens after we die? Um, I have no idea. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> well, I guess it wasn't nothing, right? Right, Lewis, where are you? You're in town. I think you're heading home. Or out. I don't know. I don't know which way you're going, but... I think you're going out. Oh, you're there. Here you go. Happy birthday. Fresh peppers in... Well, not very fresh. It's from last year. Sandy wants garlic. Fine. I'll share my garlic. Give me a lot of trash. Hello. Oh, we need to go to the desert today anyway. Harvey can resurrect you. Harvey can heal, but it would cost you. You probably beat Emily since you always seem to have your head in the clouds and daydream a lot. I get that. He's a cleric. Some of the stuff I do just want to like get to ship. What was I doing again? Getting a garlic for Emily. 
And then also iridium that. And also desert stuff. So how many totems do I have? Two. Whoops. That, those. We'll get one more triple shot. And then gift for a manra. That's it, really. Go get the bus. Abigail will be a druid. Oh yeah, I can totally see that. I know I obviously said I don't know anything about like D and D, but like these sorts of things are kind of ringing a bell from playing World of Warcraft. Emily would be an elf mage. What would Sandy be? Since we're going to visit her right now. Staircase is acquired. So much stuff we still need to get. Wild. Actually wild. I'll get with the forage after. I'll go see Sandy first. Oh. Well, the stuff that's near our door I'll still pick up. Look at this high... Look at this high... Oh, wait. I thought that was going to come as a Iridian quality. Never mind. Um, garlic. I did see the note. Thank you for the 180 gold. Paid for a bit of my bus ticket. That's also for you. We're doing really well with Sandy's uh, friendship. So Dill is the only herb you sell. Good to know. Then it could be a warlock. Maybe she's just a cool desert fae. That's for you. You must hide in the if you must hide from the shade from the desert sun, do make sure that a snake or scorpion has not already claimed it. Good point. This is their home. If you dig a shadow hole, you might find deeper soil is slightly cooler. It's a good feeling that. Oh, we'll get another allspice. I think we need this. Oh no, wait, am I confusing it with something else? I think I am. I'm confusing it with a pimento, I think. I'm probably still gonna get it anyway. Right? Yeah. Why not? Right. Oh. Oh, it's nine grand? Okay. The curry one I can get, though. Do you sell the kiwi, then? No. Well, we'll get the curry one now, because we can afford it. I'm probably going to have to go through all of my stuff and, like, get rid of all the, um, what's it called? Just, like, go through, I think I've got, like, an abundance of things like mushrooms and stuff that he can sell. Clint is a gnome, he hates change. How is Clint a gnome, he hates change and innovation? Dwarf is, like, a, a goblin tim tinkerer. I see that's the henchman though. Oh no, why am I stuck? Hello? Oh! The I will say, the one thing that's slightly irritating about the um, Star Blue Valley recolor is that the chat box thing is transparent background. So when I'm typing here, you can barely see it, so I, I never know that it's there. Okay, curry tree, where are we going to put you? We get a space that, like, makes sense. I guess here. There we go. 
So, maybe I'll keep the coconuts in here for now. Um... I mean, even if I can make some coconut oil from that. Wait, what is... Th oh no, I need stuff for that. There we go. Allspice jelly. Maybe we do... Oh no, that's a deluxe preserve jar though, and I don't have that yet, I don't think. Juice keg. Allspice wine, I don't want to waste it on that. Oh, I need to make like other specific machines. Oxidizer I can do- didn't I do that already? Why did I not do this yet? Puree I want to do too. Why? I could have sworn I was going to do those. We'll do them now. So I need iron I need lodestone and I need... I don't have much wood. We can chop some wood. Those are the main things, I think. Black bamboo. Got loads of that. Eurasia. Boom. Elliot has desperate vibes. I don't disagree. I don't know what it is. I'm trying to see if there's any grown trees. Yes, there are. Another dandelion. Evelyn would be a priest? Yeah, I could see that. Alex is a frat boy paladin, yeah. I don't know though, I see... But... There's something about Alex to me that gives... Like, something really bland. Like, a paladin usually kind of bland. I don't... I feel like in my head they're not. Right, let's F1 this. Wow. Wow. Oh wait, so this makes dried stuff. Memento berries turn into allspice, okay. Blue java banana? Wine goes into cream of tartar. Oh, condensed milk, I love condensed milk. Okay, this is how we dry stuff. Golden raisins? Looking at all these things. Two raisins. Yam chips! Sun dried tomato. I'm just putting out random things that I like see. So what have I got on me? Got this. What have I just made again? I made the oxidizer and I made puree jar. Allspice puree. Like, do I specifically need to ship that or am I going to waste it? I think I do. Oh, I need to ship the allspice. Maybe we just do that. Um. Let's have a look. Oxidizer. Dry dandelion flower. We need that. I know that. Dandelion puree sounds gross. Not going to lie. What specifically do we need to puree here? I mean, coconut puree we can also- Coconut butter, that's specific. Let's do that. Big warning, some of the stuff you can make has a percent chance between different artisan goods. It can be a pain to deal with. Oh, good grief. Good grief. Hi, right, everything's fine. We're gonna be fine. I think. Question mark. Who knows? Right, so I've got the curry plant now.
Oh yeah, that's what I was going to do before bed, is quickly go through and have a look if I can just like dump some stuff in there. Oh, I need to fill this as well. Ah! Ah! Oh. Barn upgrade's done. We need pigs. Fenugreek seeds. Those are full. What was I doing again? Planting garlic. Also, the rice needs to go somewhere. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. I suppose that could wait. Oh, the kale I'm going to wait for. I'm too lazy. Oh no, we've only got one seed left. That's kind of annoying. Yeah, this is too many mushrooms. So we'll sell some of them. Because I'm already going to get loads more anyway. Maybe not those. Some of the more rare ones I obviously won't sell, but like... Stuff that we can get easily in our... Um, what's it called? Maybe not the purple ones. In the shed thing. Why is there- oh no, the feathers do belong in here. Oh, I haven't shipped the hawk feather yet. The wizard gives wizard vibes? Yeah, I think you might be right. <laughs> I don't know what it is about the wizard, but yeah, definitely seeing the wizard vibes. Unlucky clover. I need to figure out what I want to do with that. Basically just trying to get rid of some of my excess stuff. Because I don't need this much of everything. Let's have a little boost. Crop-wise, I don't have that many crops, so I won't do anything with this just yet. So many dandelions, but I feel like I'm going to need them all. I'll go take them over there. Right. Maybe I do need it. I probably do, but some of the stuff I can get pretty easily again, so I'm not that worried. There we go. We'll sell half these. I'll bring the other ones over there tomorrow. Wait, I've still got mushrooms. I need a boost. Rain tomorrow. That's why. I need the five grand. I need the mermaid pendant. Wizard being the Grand Wizard, that makes sense. Going on here. Hello Emma, you come from a bigger city than Pelican Town, so I'm sure you're used to higher quality cocktails than can be found in our local establishments. After a recent trip to Zuzu City, I'm wondering if elevating our local menus might draw in some more tourism. I looked through some old books and found this blueprint for a distillation tank. The instructions say it can make fruit, flower and herbal liquors, as well as aged liquors, brandies, mead balsams, nectars and bitters. I bet you can make a whole bunch of classy cocktail liquors with something like this. I'll include the blueprint for you. I'll include the blueprint. Why can I not say that word? For this distillation tank, if you make anything with it, bring it by so I can try a sample. Another machine. <laughs> What is this? Hello Emma, I received a promotion the other day that included blueprints for a new device that preserves and packages foods for a long storage and sale. The instructions say that it packages spices, herbs, seasonings and flower petals and that it can also produce cereals and hot beverages pa hot beverage package along with a handful of other things. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I'm not going to read this all. Ooh. Puff rice and cookies can be used. Oh, it's the dry packer, okay. Yeah, we want that. 
Thank you, Pierre. Let's harvest some bell peppers. Oh, look at all the peppers. There's so many peppers. I thought the daffodil was going to be more exciting than that, to be honest. I swear this has said one day for ages. Is it just me? Probably not. Okay. Green bell pepper, yellow bell pepper. Keep the rest. Dandelion's just a dandelion. Uh, daffodil's just a daffodil. I'm going to take it to the... Um, stuff we're making chest. Oh, look at all the things. So many things. Right. Coconut butter. Oh, the ground this ground holly I want to keep. Coconut oil. Do I need that for a lot of stuff? No. We keep you, because I'm going to put you in the in a tea keg. Eventually. So now what do I do with these? Nothing really. I could put them in the reserve jar. I might just do that. Because why not? And then... Nothing in perfume? Uh, it's got 15 hours to go. Oh, those wine needed to go in something, right? Yes. This... was it? Oh, that, that's still going, never mind. Obviously neither of those things. Whoopsie! Right, let's have a look at this dry packer. Hemp rope. I haven't found that yet. 10 silver bar, 50 slime and coal. Need that soon too. What's this? Oh, that's the vinaigrette. It'd be nice if it showed without hovering. There is an animation, but it's very, very subtle. You see the thing, like, going through here. It's just so subtle. Right, these don't do much. Oxidizer, I need to do this, but I need... Ooh, how do I get the jalapeno pepper extract? I have to look at jalapenos. Box glove, we're gonna put in... Ooh, a flow hive. So what the frick am I gonna do with foxglove puree? Ew, foxglove jelly sounds so weird. What about you? Cranberry puree kind of makes sense to do, so let's do that. And then, what's this again? Auto mill. Ooh. We do, let's try putting a pomegranate in there. There we go. They wouldn't jelly, that has to be an oversight. Well, it, it turns into pomegranate jelly, then pomegranate jam, then something else. <laughs> Got a lot of things that it does. Alright, what are we doing today? We're going to go buy the mermaid pendant. Um, I just want to make this tank. I didn't mean to make three fermentation barrels. I'm tempted to swap one out. That's fine. I'll put you here. So here's all the stuff I can make with it. Ooh, this is going to be fun. All the different liquors. Oh, bear tonic. This is kind of exciting. I guess I'm just going to find something in the chest and slap it in there. We'll start with the coconut, because we've been doing a lot with coconuts. Actually, I can look. Distillation tank. Coconut liquor. Let's go. I need to remember what I'm doing with this beeswax. 
Oh, that's how I make the fermentation tank, but I need some for the flow hive eventually. Oh, I can make it out of flowers also in the flow hive as well. I guess we'll figure that out eventually. Mermaid pendant. I keep forgetting what I'm doing. Do I actually have to ship all this stuff? Yes. <laughs> yes, is the short answer. I'm also going to switch this out for a diamond because I'm aware I'm going to need loads of those. I remember now. You just ended up buying a ton of it? Yeah, I'm probably going to end up buying that. No, everything's out of order. Um, actually, I don't even need my axe. What did I just go back there? I need a, a diamond, that's it. Oh, gaps. Diamond, diamond, diamond. We'll put the potatoes. Oh wait, it's only one? Oh, whatever. There's a there's a lot of stuff to make. The five thousand artisan good thing is not an exaggeration, I don't think. No prizies work too. Yes, they do. We have uh, another one ready in twenty six hours, which is kind of wild. Yeah, this is going to be a good long series. I think it's going to be one of those things that some of the stuff we're going to like suddenly blast through. At least normal stardew jelly is jelly. Rapidax named per thing you make into jelly. Yeah, exactly. You need to do each and every one. Need to find more wool? Oh my god, have fun. Have fun finding the wool. Give me that. Probably gonna be our last day as well looking at the time. <gasps> New special request. Robin's project or crop order. A hundred garlic? I'll take that. The Rapidex Christmas special. <gasps> we need this. Win. Oh yeah, I forgot about the crab pots. There we go. A couple more ticked off the list for fishing. Always choose garlic. Unfortunately, Lewis is gonna get all the garlic, but that's fine. I need to go buy a hundred seeds. Like it's really fast growing as well, so it shouldn't take all that much time to do. See, even Lewis wants me to grow garlic. Jam jelly and meads with a bane of your life. <laughs> yeah, I really need to get that. I need to get that tracker sorted at some point. I think. Kind of worried. <laughs> Emily should be at home right now, right? Yeah. This one is great. I'm. I am really enjoying it. Oh, let's. We'll go catch the eel today as well, shall we? This is for you. We need to grow garlic, but also we need to grow the household. Emily's gonna live- I mean, Haley's gonna live alone. Wait until it's out for 1.6. Oh yeah, that's probably a good idea. Wait till then. I wonder what they're gonna do with the artisan goods that are now like part of the vanilla game. Why am I here again? 100 garlic seeds. I can't afford 100 garlic seeds. This is a sad time in my life. As overwhelming as it is, it's definitely fun. No, exactly, because it's kind of like, oh, but I have to do this thing to make that thing work and all of that. I'm so broke. new reward hello oh 
Well, actually, technically, it's a free flute block that we can use on Ginger Island, so it's actually a good thing. I forgot to bring something for Coyote over here. You like gold ore? I'll just give you a gold ore. Easy. I can't bother to go home. <gasps> oh my god, I need to fix this situation right now. What am I going to do? Okay, I need to think this through. <laughs> what am I going to do? Um... I'm tempted to sell 500 gold worth of garlic seeds. You know what? Desperate times. I need it. This was too important. Pick up forage to sell. I, I don't trust myself to get to be as decisive as I need. The problem is I just sold load yesterday. <laughs> At the end of the day with garlic it grows so fast. I'm already growing some as it is. I haven't even got space to plant it right now. So it's gonna have to wait anyway. Um, Right, those are going away. The bearberry will definitely not be there tomorrow. I'm gonna put this in there for later. Have I got any other machines in here that I've just like forgotten about? Not really. Not the ones that I care about. Oh. I guess I take that back. Okay. <laughs> These are a lot of things though. I'm gonna need more processing space. I mean, eventually it'll be a shed, but for now, we're just going to have to make do with what we've got. So, what was I doing all my life? This, seven hours, so 10pm tonight. I'm going to carry it around till then. I'm going to put it down here so I don't forget. As in, like, use it accidentally. Another row for the collection. And then, wait, can I use this? So I've got 10. I kind of, no, I need to keep them actually. The sturgeon row. We just go straight to the beach. We need to go fish for the eel. Have fun with that one, it's been such a pain to deal with. Yeah, it's kind of a lot. I need 10 hearts to then grow a fruit tree in winter, so basically a whole year to get fruit. Hello? You don't think it's cheap either? Yeah, I think the bearberry tree- didn't I? No wait, it wasn't. I'm sure I saw something about- no, it was a different one I'm confusing it for. There's a tree that I need. I think it's the Saskatoon. It's like 10 grand. I don't want that either. I want, an, I want an eel. Give me an eel. Use the huge crazy greenhouse mod that has 80 tree spots. I want to know, I think there's a roof garden, oh bubble spot. There's a roof garden that comes with this farm. Um, but I need to upgrade my house a bit more. I think. It's a lot of hard to get things. Yeah. You looked at the list of trees and you just started sweating. <laughs> it might end up being that a lot of Ginger Island end up being used in that way as well. I mean, that's what I do is I put some crops in there, but I also cram trees in in every available spot that I can. Can the Ian even be here?
There's like 60. It's a lot. And then like waiting for all the stuff that you need from them. No! Roof garden, the cottage core dream. Honestly. Oh, the cottage core queer dream. I would love to have a roof garden though. What's annoying is remembering what tree you've planted. Yeah, I, I've done that already today. I bought another olive tree. I've wasted like a few grand. The space north of the farm is for an orchard. That's a good point. I need to clear out that space too. Something's telling me I'm not going to get the eel here. Doesn't the eel die like four? I can't remember off the top of my head. I mean, either way, we could do with a bit of gold from fishing anyway. I'm just gonna- this bubble spot is causing me more trouble than it needs to. Some of the saplings have different names to the fruit. That's another obstacle. Hello? Do you keep visible fish on? I kind of just forgot to put it on. I need like three of them, don't I? Spicy eel, fried eel, or is it just two? Is it just those two? Do I need more eels? I'm sure I needed it for something else. There's one. Fried eel and spicy eel. Yeah, so I just need one more. Community center. Good point. I don't think so. I don't think I need it for that. I think I would have tried to get it earlier. Yeah, no, I don't. Thankfully. Still love the confusion at the flying squid. I can't get over that. I, I was like, this must mean something, surely. I did not know it was just a visual bug. I feel so silly. It would have been cool if like some of the Raffidax fruit could show up. Like even like not super expensive fruits, but if some of the fruits could show up in the fruit cave, that could have been cool. That's kind of silly there. <laughs> I was so excited about it. Because I've not really done anything meaningful on a beach farm before, so oh yeah, that's just water noise. Creativity, thank you so much for the Twitch follow. You seen that but a leaf basket? I've seen I've definitely seen the leaf basket one. Hello, Eel, where are you? You can get a mod called Better Fruit K Better Fruit K Fruits? That makes sense. You didn't know I was on Twitch now too. I am as of I think it was a few weeks ago. Ruin the excitement. Well no, because like now I know what it is. That's what I really cared about was knowing what it is, like. You need love for the spicy eel. Oh no, it's just a regular one. Because I did the look up anything just before checking how many I needed. I just wanted to get a couple more or at least like one more fish ticked off the list. What else have I got going on here? Where am I going? There. We do have a few more. Oh, I don't really. I'm not going to do that. There's no way I'm doing the legend this year at all. I just want to fill this up a little bit better. I haven't even done the angler. That's new for me. Obviously, it forced me to get some more money as well. Don't 
Don't forget to like the stream. Yes, if you uh, hit the like button, if you're enjoying yourself, it does help us out a lot. Good little free way to support the channel. Wait, do I need anchovies? I feel like those are... no. Uh, yes. Worcester sauce. That's a recipe recipe. Maybe I get some of that out then. Sardines I need for Dish of the Sea, but I don't need it urgently. Just checking before I sell a lot of these things. I know technically I need flounder for stuff, but I'm not that fussed about it. Um, this. There's a lot going on in here. Do I need bull heads for much? No. Too many carp. Too many chub. Way too many chub. Sell the good ones. Think that's okay for now. Boot fish. This be a last day? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Ooh! The perfume thing should be done. I should be able to put this in there now. Let's go. Go, go, go! Oh, and we also need to go and see Emily in the secret woods, don't we? So this I think I can just ship, yes. Oh, it's only worth 80? Ugh. Oh, it's from Holly, that's why. Cranberry puree. Puree is just puree. So the jelly is worth more, but obviously it's so much quicker to ship. Alright. What are we going to puree next? Apricot, I guess. What happens if I put this? Oh, I can, but I need stuff for it. Dandelion puree, I guess, then. Kind of gross, but we're going for it. I don't want to just... Ooh. I just... just. Why would you put a golden chest in the seed maker? Can I still get it tonight? I don't know. I don't know what time she stops, but I can try. Wait, should I check on the mail? After 10 p.m. Which it is. Let's go. Do the radioactive cart, but then realize I've probably not unlocked the sewers yet. No, I haven't. Finishing the stream with a camping day is cute. Yeah, I thought I thought it would be a nice little uh, nice little way to end the day. Ah. We missed it. Emily packed up and went home for the night, apparently. Is that a forage? Eh. Well, oh, it was a good thing we're here, actually, because I need this. The good thing still happened. Wow, so I only have, like, not very long. Oh, is it locked behind non-rainy weather? That's a good point. I didn't think of that. Who lets a bit of rain stop them camping? Too late, I've already proposed now. Try entering through the main entrance. I think I'm gonna pass out if I try that. I don't wanna I don't wanna pass out. I am against passing out today. Right, I've noticed... Hold on a minute. Okay, they shouldn't be in there. They should be in here. There we go. Alright, bedtime, bedtime, bedtime. Okay, if you enjoy the stream today, don't forget to hit the like button. It helps us out a lot over on uh, Twitch. If you want to be notified for next streams, don't forget to hit the follow button. Thank you for the new subs on Twitch, the new memberships on YouTube as well, and all the uh, renewals. I appreciate all of you, and hopefully over on YouTube tomorrow, question mark, there should be a premiere, hopefully, of the 1.6 playthrough, my first year. I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited. Um, hopefully I'll have it done tomorrow. Oh, let me just hit this button, because sometimes I forget to, like, click it, and I worry that I haven't saved the game. The amount of times after the Terraria stream, I almost like turn off the PC without hitting save and exit on the game. 
But anyway, I'll, I'll see you all hopefully tomorrow. If not, um, that'll be out. If it's not tomorrow, it'll be Friday, definitely. But next stream will be Supermarket Sim on Saturday, both here, uh, both on YouTube and on Twitch. So um, whichever comes first, I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye, fellow garlic lovers. I love it.